Hey YouTube, I'm Doug with d in the Garage, and I got a good one for you today. I want to tell you how you can pass inspection with a bad catalytic converter or bad O2 sensors. Alright, let me paint a picture for you. You're driving down the road, minding your own business, when all of a sudden, BAM! You hit square in the face with the worst possible thing! A check engine light. Alright, your beloved vehicle that you care for at all times is due for inspection in two months. And now you've got a check engine light? So you pull out your code reader, you stop in an auto parts store, have them scan it, and lo and behold, you have yourself an emissions code. Any number of codes relating to your exhaust emission system. Now what starts going through your head? New O2 sensors, cutting and splicing exhaust parts trying to get it fixed. I'm here to tell you there's an option you may want to try first. It's a $24 gamble, cat clean, all right? Let me go on record saying right now this isn't any paid advertisement by Cat Clean. I don't make a dime from anybody. Sitting here in my crappy garage, nobody's giving me money to bump their products. I want to let you know that I have used this as a cheap fix to get my check engine light to go off long enough to get through inspection. Here's how it works. You take this, you get your car down to, the direction says a quarter of a tank, but I recommend going further than that. Get down to almost an eighth of a tank of gas, all right? And if you have a really old car or you think there might be sediment in your gas tank, you may want to be careful with this because you don't want to run your uh, tank down too low and pick up crap from the bottom. So you get your car down to about an eighth of a tank, dump this stuff into your gas tank, and you just go and rip that thing. Rip your car around. I'm talking about really letting the motor have it. You wanna work this stuff through your entire fuel system, kinda like you would with sea foam. You know how when, after you've sea foamed a car, you really let it have it? Uh, but do it while moving. You don't wanna just sit there revving your car in a parking lot. I mean, that's not great for your motor. All right, you wanna put maybe 20 miles on this. Really give it an opportunity to get your entire exhaust system hot and clean the carbon off because that's what it's doing all right if your o2 sensor has failed this isn't going to help it. all right if your catalytic converter has broken away and there's nothing left inside of it this stuff is not going to help it if you are suffering from carbon buildup on your o2 sensors inside your cat this stuff is going to help you all right you need to get your exhaust system nice and hot give this stuff a chance to really blow all that crap straight out your car's tailpipe then you clear that code if you know anything about drive cycles you know you have to drive your car around a while let your monitors get ready but i have personally had my check engine light which was on for an o2 sensor go off for 15,000 miles using one bottle of this stuff, 24 hours. I haven't found an auto parts store yet that doesn't carry it. You gotta get this one though. Let me tell you why it's different, right? You put this stuff in your fuel tank, it circulates through your fuel pump, through your fuel lines, through your injectors, into your cylinder, where it is promptly burned. Now most of those things, uh, what is it, uh, Super Tech, something or another, all those fuel injection system cleaners, they do clean your injection system, but once they get to the cylinder and they encounter the explosion that happens in there, they don't survive it to make it into the exhaust system. I don't know what they put in this stuff. I would love to know, but this stuff does. It survives the explosion in the cylinder and still has potency to clean your exhaust system, right? This is the stuff you need. I'm gonna put a link down below. Once again, I'm not getting paid for this stuff. I just want you to know that there's a better way. You don't have to pull out your sawzall and start hacking your exhaust system apart so that you can make inspection in one week. All right, that may be what you have to do and it's definitely the more correct way, but if you could buy yourself 15,000 miles for $24, I know I would. All right, guys, that's all. This was a real short one, right? Like I said, I'm going to leave a link down below. If you like this video, definitely leave me a comment. If you've ever used this, I want to know about it. Tell me that you have also found a success with this. If you know anything else that also works, sure, let me know. I'd love to know. But definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.